Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan and I'm with Skyline Acres and today we're going to be baling some hay. So if you haven't seen part, I guess it'd be one of this video. I haven't even edited that video yet, but it's out. It's going to be out by the time this video is out. If you haven't seen it, go out there and check it out. Um, it was me cutting this field uh, with our Kubota and our hay bind. And now it's several days later and we are ready to bale. Now it's about nine in the morning right now. So we got a little dew on it, but I mean, this is, this is great stuff here. So anyways, it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a tough day. So I just gotta prepare myself for it. All right guys, so I got my dad raking. I'm gonna go grab the hay baler and start greasing that and everything. As you're watching this video, uh, be thinking about ways that we can maybe improve what we do. Now we've been, we've been doing it here at this house for, I think this is our eighth season. And we had a friend give us a hay elevator, so that helps us unloading. But long story short, Picking the, we bale on the ground and picking the bales up off the ground is just, it, it, it kills us. It's me and it's just me, my wife and my dad. So it's pretty much three of us. So I've tried to think of ways to make that um, picking up easier. And I just, I've not found a great solution. So if you know of something, let me know. It's we're not on any large scale or anything, so it's not, I don't wanna go out and buy some crazy expensive thing or whatever, but I was just kind of thinking if we can, if we had like a bale sled and we could group the bales, I think that would be the best thing. Um, but they're kind of hard to find here, I don't know. But a hay wagon don't, won't really work because it's just three of us. So we'd fill the wagon up Two of us would go and load the wagon, another one's bailing, and then they're bailing on the ground. Because even if you group them in groups of three, that's a third stop you got to make to pick up bales. So I don't know. If y'all think of something better, let me know. That's our biggest hiccup right now is picking the bales up out of the field. Right, guys, I'm down here at the workshop. I got the baler all hooked up and greased up, tires pumped up, blew it off from last year, all that. Everything looks good, knock on wood. And it looks like my dad is about a third to a half of the way done with the hay field uh, raking. So, I'm gonna pull this up here, kind of start baling a little bit. All right, so I just pulled up to the field here, getting ready to start, and I figured I'd show you what my dad's got done. Let's go check the hay out real quick. It's obviously pretty thick. And, Oh yeah. I don't know if you can hear that nice crackle, but it's good. Let's see if I can hold this here. Let's go try to twist it for you, but hard to do with trying to hold the camera. I mean, it just falls right loose. All right, anyways, I'm gonna start bailing. Once I get a little bit, I'll catch back up with you. So the general process that we use year after year is once my dad is done raking, him and I start picking up the bales while my wife is actively bailing. When we do this, I just stay on one side of the trailer as I believe it uses less energy than running from side to side. Once my wife has finished bailing, she then comes and helps us load hay. Having three people works great because you have a truck driver and a person on both sides of the trailer loading. This trailer works great for loading hay out of the field. It's either seven or seven and a half feet wide by 16 feet long, so it's not much smaller than a hay wagon. The nice thing about it is you don't have to lift the bales very high because the trailer is so low to the ground. Uh -huh. 
that is the professional hay bale operator right there. That is my wife. She does good. any of y'all have bailed hay with a hydrostatic tractor before the ability to have infinite speeds and be able to constantly speed up and slow down as the wind rows change is really nice it made it really easy to teach my wife how to run the baler and not clutching and changing gears gave her one less thing to have to focus on Coming at you here with an update. We had some people come pick up out of the field. That's why that's done. We've already loaded a load ourselves um, and put in the barn. Um, there you can see the bales there. But my wife was bailing and said we're out of twine. So got to take her some twine and should be good to go. Look at how many bales we're up to. So we are up to 762 bales. Still got a couple long runs to do, so it'll be a long evening picking bales up. So we should have been keeping a little bit better look on our twine, but we didn't and we ran out. So that's our fault. But I've been using this Titan twine, this uh, 9,000 green. This is some pretty good stuff. All right. Unfortunately, it's all had to be re-threaded now. So let's see if I got it threaded right. I come through there, through that outlet, and it was this far needle that was out. And I'm pretty certain all you do is run it through the needle and then tie it off to something. So I'm gonna trip it and let's see what happens. Alright. Looks like we got twine up there now. Alright guys, so we've loaded a couple people that wanted to buy hay out of the field. We've loaded another barn we have and now this is the first load of hay that's gonna go in our actual pole barn. And what we're gonna do is we usually park here and then we use that hay elevator and run it across here and start filling it up. Even though we are only running the hay elevator flat, it is really nice because it saves you from walking back and forth over the pallets. I'm of the mindset that on hay day, anything that can save an ounce of energy is worth it. And also you don't have to worry about a board breaking on the pallets and twisting an ankle. So we have found out over the years that each one of the bays in this pole barn holds about 420 bales. I use pallets on the bay you see us at now because that bay is permanent hay storage. The bay next to the pallets typically doesn't have hay in it because we pre-sell enough and so forth that we don't need to use it. I use heavy duty tarps in that bay when we do have hay there. That way I can easily remove the tarps when we sell that bay out of hay and then I can put the baler and other equipment there. So by the way, guys, if y'all like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our channel as we would love to have you back. We would highly appreciate it. All right, guys, so right here, it's about 9 or 10 p.m. at night, and little did we know we had a long ways to go yet. However, we had to get the hay in the barn no matter what, because they were calling for rain showers in the morning. <laughs> and 
So I know you can't see me very well probably, but let me show you what time it is. Uh, we just put everything away. I don't even remember how many bales I told you we got, but it's 3.23 in the morning. So it was just, it was incredible. So anyways, I am wore out. I haven't ate dinner, none of that stuff. So I'm gonna go in here and eat something and try to go uh, take a shower and go to sleep. It is now the next day after we bailed. And the reason is, is because we didn't come in until 3 a.m. last night from getting all this hay stacked. It was out in the field and they were actually calling for rain today, uh, starting kind of in the morning. So we just, I mean, we had to get the hay up. So anyways, we were out till 3 a.m. getting it and it wasn't fun, but we got it. Guys, so everything went without a hitch. The baler worked beautifully, tractor worked beautifully, everything did good. It was just, it was just a, a labor nightmare. Um, we ended up with 936 bales on 10 and a half to 11 acres that we did. And like I said, three of that 11 is pasture that's been grazed all year. Now we did get some pretty good rain this year, so that helped a lot. Um, we have, there's about 706 bales in this pole barn right now, the way it sets. And I can't really show you everything just cause there's a door here and I kind of jammed in here to be honest with you. Um, but so there's 706 bales in here and there is, we have another hundred bales up in our different little barn that we have up there. So we have about 806 bales right now and the remainder uh, off that 936, uh, we had some people come and, and pick up hay out of the field. All right, so the other thing is with the hay, I have me a homemade, it's a five foot piece of conduit here and it's flattened on the end with holes in it. So air gets in all the way down in and then I have this outdoor uh, thing here on a wire, this temperature gauge, and it's pushed in all the way in the conduit. And when this blue is at the conduit, you know the wire hasn't come out this way. So the sensor's all the way five foot in the haystack. And I like to keep an eye on my temperature and we're reading 80 degrees right now. So we'll keep an eye on that over the next week or so and see what we got. I wanna say thank you to my dad for putting in a lot of hard work on this when he doesn't have to. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, I want to say thank you to my mom for bringing us lunch and kind of being the support for that. With that said, we are going to call this done. I'm going to finish cleaning up some equipment and all that. And we will catch you guys on the next video.